Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Baboons are fascinating primates that live in various parts of Africa and Arabia. Today, we will learn some interesting facts about baboons and see how they relate to the Bible. Baboons are known for their distinctive long snouts, cheek pouches, and short tails. They are social animals that live in troops and communicate with each other through a range of vocalizations, gestures, and facial expressions. They are also omnivores, which means they eat both plants and animals, including insects, fruit, and seeds. In the Bible, baboons are not mentioned explicitly, but there are some passages that refer to related animals. For example, in Psalm 104 verse 18, the psalmist praises God for creating the high mountains for the wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the conies. The conies referred to in this verse are likely hyraxes, which are small, rabbit-like mammals that are sometimes confused with baboons. Like baboons, hyraxes are social animals that live in groups and are adapted to rocky habitats. Another interesting connection between baboons and the Bible is the idea of community and social behavior. Baboons live in complex social structures where they form hierarchies, alliances, and bonds with other individuals. They also exhibit empathy, cooperation, and conflict resolution skills, which are essential for their survival and well-being. Similarly, the Bible emphasizes the importance of community, love, and compassion among God's people. In John 13 verses 34 to 35, Jesus commands his disciples to love one another, saying, By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Finally, baboons can also teach us about the beauty and diversity of God's creation. They have unique physical and behavioral traits that reflect the creativity and wisdom of the Creator. As Psalm 104 verses 24 to 25 declares, How many are your works, Lord? In wisdom you made them all, the earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea, vast and spacious, teeming with creatures beyond number, living things both large and small. In conclusion, Baboons are fascinating animals that can teach us important lessons about community, adaptation, and the beauty of God's creation. As we study and appreciate these creatures, let us also remember to glorify God, who made all things for His glory and our enjoyment. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lesson we can learn from baboons and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching.